can I waste no time, bitch, I'm really grinding. If I ever said I love you, I was lying. What's good, YouTube? I'm back once again with the video. Uh, today's video is going to be different from the from my other videos that I have on my channel. Today, I'm going to actually be giving some tips out to the incoming 8th grader who just left 7th grade because um, right now, I'm in, I'm in ninth grade, and you know what I'm saying? It ain't a joke, you know what I'm saying? It's not a joke, bro, like, so um, it's to turn your homework because if you don't turn in your homework, then that's not good. Like, your teacher's going to think that you're not independent and you can't do work by yourself because, like, homework is easy. Just turn in your homework. Like, that's really going to help your grade out. Like, if you don't turn in your homework and stuff like that, then, you know what I'm saying? And it's not good. Like, it's not good. Just turn in your homework, bro. Like, there's nothing to it. Like, turning in your homework is like playing a video game. So just turn in your homework to don't, bro, don't get in no relationship with no girls. Like, you know what I mean? Like, stay to yourself. Like, you can... You can talk to girls and talk to your homies, but, like, don't get in no relationship because, like, relationships can cause problems and it can distract you from your homework. And, um, you don't want that to happen because you want to stay focused and you want to have a, you want to be motivated. You want to motivate yourself to do your work and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, to stay prepared for class, like, bring a pencil. Like, don't you hate it? Like, well, I hate it, like, when people, a person asks me for a pencil or I have to ask a person for a pencil. Like, that's really annoying. So, yeah, make sure that you, um... Be prepared and bring a pencil, to, a pencil to class and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, like bring paper and all that other stuff and um, all that good stuff, like paper, pencils, uh, a binder, and make sure that your your Chromebook is also charged. Like if, I don't know about y'all, um, but like my my school, they give us like this a computer. Like for example, they give us a a laptop. They give us like a laptop so to use for school and stuff like that. Like just make sure that it's charged or if you bring a computer to school, make sure that it's charged because uh, you never know what you would need. But make sure you study for tests because tests is really a big thing. Like, that's really a part, like, a big chunk of your grade. Like, classwork is this. A uh, test is like this. So, yeah, make sure that you study for your test because, say, tomorrow you got a test, right? And the teacher told you to study today for the test. And you go home and you don't study for the test. And the next day you go to school the next day and you take the test. You're not going to pass the test because you know why you didn't study. So make sure that you study. And, uh, yeah. Uh, also, check your grade all the time. Like, check, checking your grade is really going to help you out, too. Because, like, if you don't check your grade and you just, um, just playing around and stuff, you know, always check it. Like, you check it one time a week. That's not good. Like, you need to check your grade every day. Because, say you have a B plus in one class, right? And then the next day, the next day or the next week, you check your grade and you got a D plus in there. And all of a sudden, it's like you shocked because you didn't check your grade. So make sure you check your grade and all that good stuff. You stay connected with your teachers because if you're not connected with your teachers, then your teacher's not going to be connected with you. Like, if you need help or something like that, ask your teacher for help. Like, don't be embarrassed to ask for help or nothing like that because at the end of the day, it's going gonna, it's gonna to benefit you. It's going to help you out. Like, people might think it's, like, dumb to ask for work and stuff like that, but it's really not. Like, it's really going to help you out. Like, I'm telling you that now. And I already experienced it. So, yeah, ask for help and don't be shy and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, also is to make sure that you're connected with your teachers. Like, I know I just said that, but, like, yeah, like, email them and stuff like that. Email your teachers and talk to them and stuff. Like, if you got a bad grade, ask them why or is there any extra credit. But some teachers don't always give up extra credit. So, make sure you turn in all your homework and your classwork. If you don't complete your classwork, ask them if you can take it home. Yeah. That and, um... Yeah, but, you know, basic stuff like that, you know, studying for tests, um, coming to school prepared. Make sure you pay attention in class because talking during class is really going to take off uh, another chunk of your participation points. So make sure that you listen to the teacher. If you don't understand something, raise your hand. Don't just get up and be goofing off in class because that's that's bad. The teacher don't like that. Make you look bad. It don't make me look bad. It's going to make you look bad. Everybody in the class going to think you're a class clown, including the teacher. So, yeah. But yeah, other than that, you know, just basic stuff like that. Just like, um, you know, just stuff about 8th grade because 8th grade is it's easy. To me, it was easy. But to some of the incoming 8th graders, it might be a little bit harder. Especially if, like, you have, like, a like you know, class clown and stuff like that and you didn't pay attention last year in 7th grade, then it's going to really hunt you. So, yeah, make sure you do that. But that's about it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Which will be right here. I'm going to put the name up like right here. It should be like on the, on the left hand. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Because if it was me, I would do the same thing for you. And you already know it. I'm going to be back with another video sometime this week. Not sure, but new videos weekly. 
and I know I've been lacking, like, I know, like, I think I posted a video, like, a month ago, so, yeah, I'm about to start, uh, I'm gonna try to, like, upload every day if I can, if I'm not too busy, because I've been busy with, like, school and stuff like that, so if I'm not too busy, then I'm gonna upload videos of, like, pranks, reactions, you know what I'm saying, uh, all that good stuff, and just leave, uh, when you watch the video, leave me some, some, some videos you want me to do in the comments, and just spam up in the comments some videos you want me to do, and, uh, I will do it for sure. But yeah, other than that, let's get it, man. You already know what I'm saying. Gang, gang, gang. Peace out. Guess what? Bitch, I got bands. All these motherfucking blue on this summer right now. That was the plan.